hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see to fix network lag and high ping in weathering waves on a windows pc you need to optimize both your system settings and your network here is a step by step guide to help you reduce lag and improve your gaming experience first step close background applications close unnecessary applications that might be using bandwidth or system resources for that you just need to right click on the taskbar and select task manager go to processes tab and end task that are not necessary especially those are using lots of network and cpu usage after doing this just close stuff here the second step is to optimize your game settings Lowering in-game settings can help reduce lag caused by high system resources usage. To optimize game settings, you just need to open up weathering waves. Press in keyboard escape key and go to settings. Select the picture icon to open up graphics settings. Lower the graphics settings to reduce the load on your PC. Graphics quality is set to low. Screen mode set to full screen. Frame rate you can set to 60 or below. Shadow quality set to low. Special effect quality set to low. LOD BIOS set to low. Capsule AO turn it on. Volumetric fog turn it off. Volumetric lighting turn it off. Motion blur turn it off. And analyzing turn it off. V sync turn it off. After doing all these changes just close stuff here now you are ready to play the game guys the third step is to update network drivers outdated or corrupted drivers can cause connectivity issues to update that you just need to go to search menu and type device manager click on open it expand the network adapter section and you just need to right click on your network adapter and select update driver and select search automatically for drivers after getting update done you just need to select search updated drivers on windows update if you have any available update list over here then you just need to update it and make your operating system up to date guys after doing this just to close stuff here the fourth step is to change dns server using a faster dns server can sometimes reduce latency to do this go to search menu and type view network connection click on open it right click on the internet you are using it and select properties select internet protocol version 4 and select properties use the following dns server addresses select it and Type here 8888 8, 8. in alternative DNS server type 8844 click on OK to save changes select close just to close stuff here now you need to restart your PC guys the fifth step is to disable Windows update delivery optimization Windows update delivery optimization can consume bandwidth to disable that go to search menu and type settings click on open it on left side select windows update on right side you just need to scroll down and select advanced options in here you need to scroll down delivery optimization click on it you need to toggle off the allow downloads from other pcs toggle it off after toggling off just close stuff here the sixth step is to disable background services certain background services can affect network performance to disable that you just need to go to search menu and type ms config comes up with system configuration click on open it select the services tab and check mark hide all microsoft services in here you need to disable unnecessary startup items guys in my case i just disabled everything except nvidia and vgc and anti-cheat expert service 
After doing this, select a play and OK for save changes. The seventh step is to check firewall and antivirus settings. Ensure your firewall or antivirus is not interfering with the game. To check that, go to search menu and type allow and app through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on open it. In here, you need to find the weathering waves. If you can't able to find it, then you just need to select change settings and select allow another app and select browse. You need to navigate the location guys. Go to local disk C and program files, epic games, weathering waves. In here you need to select the weathering waves launcher, launcher.exe. After selecting it, select open. Select add. After adding it, you just need to check mark these both options guys in weathering waves, private and public. Check mark it. After check marking it, select OK for save changes. And the eighth step is to reset network settings. Resetting your network settings can help resolve persistent issues. To do this, go to search menu and type network reset. Comes up network reset, click on open it. Select the reset now and select yes and reset your network adapter. After resetting it, you just need to restart your PC guys. By following these steps, you should be able to reduce network lag and high ping in weathering waves, ensuring a smoother and more enjoyable gaming experience. I hope this video helped you guys. If the video helped you, don't forget to leave a like guys. You can also subscribe me and support me guys. Thank you.